Hi there and welcome to my channel. This is Kate in the Nest and I'm really hoping you are well. I have flower upon flower and yes, it's time for my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery sort of spin-off, which is my slow stitch quilt. I've got the idea of the blooms of summer. It's not quite a strictly field notes um, piece, but there will be butterflies and nests and everything that um, we have been using in our pieces. So I am excited to say that we're going to spend a little bit of time on my slow st stitched quilt. And I'm at the point where I've put the panels together. And I have also experimented before this video last night, in fact, with my first ever flower loom, clover flower loom um, flowers, of course. So there you are, there's a flower for you. I hope that makes you smile. I'm not perfect yet, but this is not about perfection and that would be quite a change to my style if they came out perfectly. But look at the impact that these can have. And now I'm at the point where I can show you how once I've got my layer upon layers down, I'm going to go 3D in a way that just makes my heart sing. So pin cushion, thread it up with three colors. Sometimes people ask me about that. I have no plans for this session, but I've put a blue, a pink and a variegated pearl in three of my needles. Okay, I think I'm going to go big picture and show you maybe two strips to the panels and then we'll come back. So this is big work, 26 inch squares. So even folding it <laughs> has become um, something new for me to learn. So let's just get started here. Now, I was watching Lulu and Rachel during the week. Shout out to um, to everyone in that family and Sarah and Juju. Um, we just love watching and being inspired. So they were at the point of laying their panels on out on the table. I will, I'm clumsy. So I'm not sure that I'll ever be able to hold my camera in one hand and, and do this, but um, I'll have to learn to show you. Okay, so this is the bottom left hand uh, square. So let's go. The All the way the, um, along the bottom is this tablecloth, which is printed, and I'm embroidering it in some places. Here's a bluebird of happiness, and this one will add on to the middle block. So this is just a little walkthrough of the garden making me happy to see all these blossoms. So I'm hoping it's bringing happiness to you. So that there is the end of block one. And now we're going on to the middle block. So this one um, has more embroidery in the corner and a little bit of a feature here. And this one, if you remember, featured the beautiful untouched rose um, tablecloth so that's sitting there in the center so this is set center bottom row of the quilt I hope that this, this doesn't make you dizzy I just want to sort of share the 3d dimensions of it and this that's the end of the middle and we're over to the last block on this bottom row so if you remember my idea has been to join a flower or a leaf to a leaf and add bits of crochet, embroidery, go over previously embroidered pieces, a bit of, um, yeah, whatever is in my nest at the time and whatever's on my mind. So I was thinking that, you know, something really puffy like that might be fun to play with today and I don't mind what direction the flowers are going so that's block one so I'm just going to scrunch it and bring the middle block up and so that'll give you an overview 
and I hope um, inspires you of, I suppose for me, the joy of this is this is a, a really big project. There's some antique paper there, vintage paper from my journaling. Um, so this is immense and it's so satisfying. I gave myself time this morning to get my quilt out because I've got so many different projects going, but to pick this up in my hands and feel the weight was just joyful. Okay, so that's the bottom panel. I'll just do the same with the middle one because the feature of the middle block is I haven't done as much work on the the middle of it because I, I wasn't sure but now that I've got it together I'll be able to grow these stories I'll grow these gardens okay so that's my one of my favorite lily patterns this was the original tablecloth as was the blue and so they lead up and this was the block that led and you've probably seen so that's the end of the first block which is block number one, two, three, four. Look at that beautiful work. Absolutely divine. And it is, and it's not my work, but that's where I'm honoring and treasuring it. It's leading over to this middle block. And this is the one where I featured the pink doily in its entirety. It's backed with um, an unfinished big embroidery and then it joins on to this piece of tablecloth here that I bought from Beck at the Sydney Craft Show and this is the original embroidery untouched but embellished right up to this corner where one day I showed you that again here's the original leaving it in its entirety, but it's just starting to add other bits and pieces around it. So there we go. That's the edge. Has some braid that I bought around that same time and a corner that is quite embellished. So that will join on to the block, the, the panel that I just showed you before. So there we go. That is second panel out of, and look how big this is, but I love, this is Kate Star. Let's just go plonk. And wherever I look, I can see flower upon flower. That's what we need in our life. Okay, so let's go back. I mean, I could work this it hasn't got much on it but no it has it's been a while since we saw bright bottom so let's take that away oh because this is the top one. Oh, look this is the top one I picked it up accidentally but there's another bit of work okay down you go sweetheart Here I am back again. So yeah, very professionally, I just put a little number one on the back, number two, etc. Okay, so let's have a look at this. I'm getting hot all of a sudden. I put my um, my favorite flower <laughs> cardigan on. But that just shows that the seasons are changing because um, it feels a little bit warm. Or it could be the excitement. Now, have I asked you how you were? Have I wished you a happy making session along with me? Because basically I can't remember because I've just got into the flow of happiness and sharing then. <laughs> so if I haven't, I want to say... Thank you so much for your kind comments, for those of you who um, 
say that they're getting some new ideas from those of you who are have been doing this for a long time but who still um, welcome me with all my <laughs> funny and giggly things. All right, so I don't want to use all these pieces here, but wouldn't it be fun? And I do happen to have I've got this piece here and one of my aims is to integrate a piece of each block into um, each of the other blocks, if you know what I mean. So this is a tablecloth that formed, who can remember what block it is, but I'm going to harvest this I was just thinking then I mean can we ever have enough flowers because now we can stitch our own flowers we can harvest embroidered flowers we can crochet flowers and now I'm making these sorts of flowers so the simple answer is they're there in nature and if we can have be surrounded by them as well in our homes and in our making it's the answer to happiness look at this beautiful I do, and I know it was purposeful, but I actually am loving the fact that I can take these flowers that would have originally hung down under the table, <laughs> you know, on a tablecloth, and bring them to <clears throat> the centre of attention. And I know the embroidery wasn't in the centre because, you know, plates and dishes had to go on them but I was just thinking about all the work that went into them and now they will be more seen okay we've got those two those that do I need anything more where's the nest okay in the nest I'm carrying around this precious bit that's all I've got left, a little bit of that. And there you go here. Sorry, my chair's creak here this morning. And that beautiful little bit. Okay, there goes the scissors. Okay, let's play a little while. This is, I think, one of the very first ones I did. So we've got embellishing here. I better just check. Can you see me? Yeah. Embellishing here. I haven't embroidered anything in this area. I've got the bluebird. I feel like we could. So yeah, that's a whole a lily that might be too detailed for the moment this is, looks a bit white I think if I pull some blue off there So what I'm going to do is just gently take off these sheaves of wheat. I think, oh, maybe they're not. Mm 
and go a little bit closer around the flower. So you might hear the neighbor's dog on Sunday when he cries a bit, depending whether his owners are outside or not. for another place, won't be discarded. So how are your projects going? Have you got lots in progress? Finishing up some? I have started following someone that most of you will probably know well but it's new to me um is it jennifer clouston um because i'd seen some people talking about her free embroidery and i noticed that jennifer is um what's she calling it it's not is it spring cleaning but her spring cleaning is she's going to projects that have not been finished and ensuring that they get done. So I thought that was um, a lovely idea. So what we're going to do now is work this flower on. And this isn't linen, this tablecloth, so it's a bit I mean, the more I stitch, I realise the difference is between the different um, materials used in embroidery. And obviously, um, linen is, is expensive. done this for a while and my thread is too long of course and I'm tugging it which will make it a bit fluffy. Sorry about that everyone we'll get sorted now. It's all come out. I do notice that when I change from one project to another I've got my needles and threads out and get in the groove of a particular length this is too long so I will just chop it and save you that agony of watching me um yeah and then when you move over it's like when we're crocheting on a big needle I'm hoping you've had are having a lovely weekend and if you're like me I'm wondering if you're thinking about what's ahead for you both in your daily doings and your daily makings or is it weekly makings I've got a busier one coming ahead but the bestest thing is I get to go to the green door um, so that makes any week wonderful to sit and stitch and make um, will be wonderful. I think I might do another what's in my bag to go because I realised I was joking with the girls last time I went that I need to pack my bag the night before to decide on which studio um, projects I'm working on because um, yeah it takes a while so I won't even give you any hints but on my work 
um, that's not work but making list this week is I have to finish off my um, um, very vintage project that's got a deadline of Friday so must do that I'm starting my summer rose project which maybe three or four pieces I want to make some more flower flowers on my loom but that might not come this week and I've got some journaling to film oh and I've <laughs> sorry but I, I was going to say how does that sound but I've actually um, got to do some work with my American colleagues and present later in the week so I have to prep it's a bit naughty isn't it like I talk about my making and my <laughs> stitching ahead of my work what a lovely balance that is I eh? So this is so random, Kate, talking to you and suddenly it turns sti change stitches, but I'm like liking this. I'm just doing sort of an overcasting at the top of the flower. Totally free and organic. Just sort of get this down a little bit and as you've heard me say before I leave I won't put them all down because I can put something else under that leaf over there if I find the right flower or a piece of embroidery So it is, um, I was just thinking then, it is fun to go from the accordion journal, which ends up being feeling so relatively small compared to this size. But ironically, I feel freer on this large form because I've got more space. Let's just take that down. There we go. So that's that flower. So pink and pink. We've got orange and red in here. So is there something that we could be doing? yet with this piece oh sorry if i bumped you then i don't think so yet but let's just have a play i wonder if we use this little flower i've got a pink one with yellow so the difference is i did more rows around the side to this one so I think we'll start with this small one and you can thread your needle on these to put it straight down but I'm thinking I will um, yeah I'm just gonna leave those hanging down because I could actually couch them or something in a little while so we've got a very pale pink yellow reds I'm going okay for a little while. And actually, why rush? 
Okay. So, let's so this, start this off under here. It's really a very inexperienced step. <laughs> Sewing on a flower loom flower. Let's approach it sort of like a button and just go in and out a few times. Make sure it's secure. Put it on the loose edge. Okay, I decided I don't like those hanging down, so let's clip them. I tied them off earlier, and I, as I said, I'll show you how to make these. If you don't already know, at some point, I probably just need a bit more practice. Okay, so that feels nice and secure. I've got thread left, so... And I want them to wobble a little bit, like that's the whole idea of 3D. Just sort of come out of here a bit. Oh. Here's the one thread. Just do a bit of decorative stitching around this outline. I also like the idea that when I look in at this quilt in sessions to come, I will remember that this was the first time I stitched one of my own flowers on. Might be short lived because something's happened to that. I puck it up too much. Sorry. So actually I might just seize the opportunity to do a stitch there and we'll take that through because it's doubled up and we won't waste our time. Alright, so we've got pink and yellow and what else did I harvest? All oh, these pretty blue ones. Got yellow and pink here. Not, might not be time for that. What else can we think of? Here's the join. So I've got to start thinking of everything joining up now. Okay. So I've got blue up there, I've got that, we use that somewhere. I keep looking at my cardigan and thinking it's one of my flowers attached to me. Let's think about... Just auditioning is what we're doing. Closer on here. So 
I like cutting bigger and then seeing if I can squeeze it in like a jigsaw puzzle. And I don't mind going over these printed flowers on the tablecloth, but I don't like going over embroideries. It's what's in my head. here we're replacing a printed um, bluebell with and this um, green stem is leading and then that's going to lead us into the embroidered section excellent I'm happy with that I get such joy <laughs> just such joy thinking doing exactly what I did. Oh, don't get joy from that though. Eek. I can't see. I want to go to excess on those already. All right, what are we going to use for cotton? Got this pink perle, which is a bit finer. So again, I like the stitching being visible. Often the hardest thing is just where will we start. So let's come up in here. had a funny thing happen I was just thinking my, it's my husband's first day at home in a long time and um, I was up I reward myself with a stitch in bed on the Sunday morning with my coffee beside me I think that's the ultimate luxury and I was working on this quilt and um, suddenly I heard this huge ow like that and I thought oh my gosh what's happened and um, I called out are you all right and next minute he came up grinning and um, he said, I don't know whether, um, how to classify this, but he said, I was looking for my glasses and I went in to the dish on the centre, <laughs> the dish where we kept, keep them in. And um, he got stabbed by a pin and the pin, you know, he really, it, you know, what's the word, stabbed him. And he reacted so fast that then it went flying across the room. So he said, is that occupational health and safety or, you know, whatever those things are called. And luckily for me, he, he Googled. I said, I'm so sorry. And he said, like, he's grown used to finding threads, harvested flowers, everything just sticking to him. Um, which again is total acceptance and I feel <laughs> lucky I certainly don't want him to get injured through my craft okay so I've got a bit of a plan before we finish I'm going to come down here closer to this open space I'll end up um, what's the word seed stitching little pink ones all around here I think into all this white space so again it doesn't matter to me very much that these are all wonky because it's part of that 
look, but if I can get myself in here. Yep. Let's go into this space here. And let's do some, let's do some flowers. Of our own. So, because this is fine red, let's just start with one of these. in the centre and do a French knot. Oops. Yep. Then we'll do one up here. Because I want to gradually join this flower into this space here. So again, I'm going to make it very big so that it's not accidental. Very pale. finding it fascinating to you know evolve my understanding of colors and just yeah play with colors through my very vintage um, project I'm loving now this is why it's I just want to encourage everyone we're always on a journey aren't we and how long ago was it me saying I don't like green very much yet and now I am absolutely loving the interplay of green and pink on that project okay let's do a French knot in the center I'm not even counting we've got six petals I think This is variegated, so while pastel, it still has the capacity to change a little. French knot, that's three times round. Yep, not quite in the center, so let's do another one. This one's not going to be in the center either, so that means there'll be a third French knot. <laughs> oh, stabbing something. Yep, oh, nice fabrication. Let's go just one more close. Wonky, could do some more, but I'm not going to. And here, see, I'm trying to hurry, and that's never good. I'll come back and do maybe in a contrast color to even it up. Looks a bit like a pink spider. In fact, it does. see how time goes all right so to bridge with these that's like a lovely color I was telling someone that I don't use DMC cottons very often but that was effective it's 
So right into the middle of these, we're going to put a pink petal. So the garden is a little crazy, but it's joining up. Okay. Let's finish these off. that thread. I love this. You go, where was I just? Well, that's a different needle. It's under here. I found about nine needles when I went to um, stitch this together because I trying to learn to put a, you know, a needle everywhere so that it's easy to pick up. Lost my pink cushion. Kate's silently giggling over here, and I hope you are too. Because something as simple as that, I was going to say I've got some blue thread. How's our time? Oh, I think it's probably enough. <laughs> So I'm going to leave you with the mystery of the uh, lost pin cushion. We have the scissors. We have um, we have a flower garden that is flower upon flower in my slow stitched quilt. We have added our first um, flower loom flowers with many many more to be continued. So this is Katie in the Nest. Um, I hope you're in your happy place too and stitching away. Until next time, bye.